So my name is Shireen Hammond. I'm 50 years old and on my 50th birthday, just before I was told that I had breast cancer. And the breast cancer that I've got is in my left breast. And it's, um, it was about, I think it was diagnosed for about 14 millimeters, first of all. And, uh, but then they actually found out that it was probably more like 28 millimeters when it was, um, when I had a scan properly and um, an ultrasound. Uh, and they also found a secondary cancer as well, which is only about eight millimeters, probably about a centimeter and a half away. So I guess it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a shock. Um, but I took it pretty well at first, and I think it's because I didn't really understand what it was all going to mean. Um, but since then, I've had numerous um, appointments of CT scans and X-rays and all that kind of stuff. And I've got to say, one of the most wonderful things is that the staff um, from every single place that I've been, the Breast Screen place, um, Breast Screen Australia, for um, the surgeon, which is Caroline Baker, who's looked after me, my oncologist, and also um, the plastic reconstruction surgeon have all been really um, beautiful to deal with. Um, Everybody tries to explain everything as much as they possibly can in the best way possible uh, so that you have as much information as you can. But I've got to be honest with that. Um, and I am a strong woman. I'm, I'm strong. I'm positive. I always believe the glass is half full. But with all of that, I've got to say um, it is a bit scary. And you, it, it, it's, I'm sure some people it hit straight away. For me, it didn't hit me straight away. For me, it actually hit me probably as the journey's been going along. And the more people that I speak to, and every time I have to say it, um, you know, I have breast cancer, it actually becomes more real every single time. And, yeah. And today, today I'm going for my first surgery. Um, and I've chosen um, to have a reconstruction, so that means that I'll have um, a mastectomy, uh, and I think they're doing a, a new surgery, which I, um, which is wonderful, but it's a new surgery um, where they actually save the nipple now. Um, and I think I must admit, when I when I was looking at the When I was looking at the CD that the breast um, is showing what breast reconstruction, uh, re, you know, breast surgery was like, um, it was it was pretty scary, and it was nothing like I'd imagined. I think I imagined it to look a bit like I'd seen my sister and my mother both have um, breast reductions, and for some reason in my head I had it that that was what it was going to be like, like a breast reconstruction. But actually, when you see it, I'm um, sorry, a breast reduction. But actually, when you see it, it's nothing like it, um, and it's pretty scary. And the reason that I decided to document how I'm feeling and what I'm going to go through and actually show the process as much as I can, not the actual surgery, but actually show my breast before and all the way through this journey, um, is so that other women who are like me and who actually might be considering having this, um, having the surgery can see what it's really like, um, warts and all. Yeah. But onward and upward, I'm positive. Um, I'm, you know, the reason that... Uh, I think the reason that I'm doing the documentary also is because for me, um, it's probably going to help me heal. I think I'll want to look back on it later. Um, and if I can share it with anybody else and any of you who are going through or feeling any of the things that I'm feeling um, and it helps ease the way along or your path a little bit, then, then that's great for me as well. So, yeah.